started off to say at the third line, Shaya, he says that Be'esai chocha tiach noas leiv hamochiach. Never forget those words in the third line. That's where he began his, his idea here. That the heart, you, the, giving, the one giving the Musr, you have to have hachno, humility in, 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 in the way of giving Musr. We, we is the humility. I and you, I'm giving you. That's arrogance. Let's continue. And therefore, the tzaddikim, who re- ordinarily should not be involved in these torture punishment type of activities of Aveda, because they have no connection, but they, we do find that they did that. Because of the sin of the generation, I remind myself just one short story of um, someone told me, uh, you know, Shalmi, he grew up in Meishar, a good friend of mine in Borough Park, Talmud Chochem, grandson of the Slana Mareva, has all the pedigree and all that. And he told me when he was a young boy, a teenager, uh, one day his father was uh, fasting. It was the middle of a weekday. It was a fast day. He was fasting. So he says, Father, wh- why are you fasting? He says, yesterday you, you got up a little late and you missed Krishna, I'm fasting for your sin. That's when they were trained the mayor Sharon. Just the way you reacted <laughs> when I heard it hit me like, whoa. In, in other words, in other words, he 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 didn't even tell his son, you know what I'm saying? But when the son asked him, Ta, Abba. Dad, why are you fasting today? So he, you know, he, he, he's not gonna, not gonna lie. So he, he it, it's he took it per, he took the responsibility. Th- that's what we're talking about over here. Take, put yourself in the shoes. You know, let's go further. And it says, in addition to this, okay. And Rabbi says now. In addition to this, the the humility on part of the scolder requires that you're upset most, not about who did it, but about what what has been done. Shenimtze lo tov. There's no good that was created in the world by this activity that that was done. Who cares who did it? Yanko, Rachel, Rivke, Reya, Rabbi, not Rabbi. What's the difference? If something is wrong and you're bothered by a wrong being in the world, that's what should concern you. And he says in Yiddish, the fact that there is no good that has been created in the world, because such, such no good. Since the person who's being scolded is obviously on a lower level, you have to, the scolder has to you, kind of, you know, subjugate himself and create humility. Why should there be in our generation such issues that we're facing today? I don't go into it, there's a, you know, but all the Mishagas that's going on today, et cetera, et cetera, which is getting to be, <laughs> right? So one attitude it is, what the heck, right? The Rebbe says, the fact that such Mishagas is going on, that should bother you about yourself. What am I doing about it? How am I, why, what am I doing to, what am I not doing and that, that, that this is even able to be created? You understand? That's, that's, that. You know, the Rebbe says that, have even the mimer, the last mimer, of, but of, of, of that for Gibel Tama, Atat Tetzava. He brings that uh, famous, he says, uh, it's a Kabbalah, uh, Kabbalah, a received tradition that any generation that the Beis Amikdash is not built, the Tzadikim and the generation are responsible. David you can talk about Rebbes, go before Rebbes. Shmuel I mean, go, go on and on and on and on. I'm saying, but there is a concept that I need to feel that if there is a no good issue, something bad, something outrageous against Hashem in the generation, I'm responsible. That's what he says. 
the son of Zechariah, it says in the Bible of Yom that he was among the congregation. We, and we explain that. He, what does it mean that he, he stood among the people? He made himself on, on par with the people. He didn't think of Hashem, oh, he's the rabbi, he's the rav, he's the rebbe, he's the leader, he's the yachim adam, he's the big shot. No, he, I'm one of you, we're all together. Surely, Yechaziel was greater at infinitum than the rest of the people. Why? Because the Chazal says that you're not, you're not, you don't appoint a leader over a congregation. Unless he has the necessary um, tools. To, exactly. Who had the spirit of God. It wasn't just that he was a, 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 a good a CEO. He was a man who was inspired by the Ruach HaKodesh, Ruach Hashem. And nevertheless, he was um, among the people. He, 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 com he considered himself as part, I'm not any better than any of you guys. Even though Ruach Hashem inspired him. He had a level of modesty that made himself comparable, that he made himself comparable to the congregation. Conversely, his father Zechariah, number one, he repeats, Hassan HaMelech, the son of the king. Number two, Koyen Godel, the son of the Koyen Godel. Number three, he was a Navi, a prophet, Vidaya. Number four, he was a judge. And he saw himself greater than the rest of the nation. And he criticized them with, a, with how, how terrible is the sin that they were doing. The fact that Zechariah did not include himself with the people, it isn't such a great sin. We find this by Moshe. He's called to the Jews. And he didn't include himself together with the Jews. So what was, so, if the, so the Rebbe, this is a rhetorical question. So if so, what was, what was Zechariah's terrible sin? He followed Moshe. Uh, it, since he followed Moshe, so he went, right? Elo, and Moshe, Elohei Ikeru, right, because we